It's one thing for public figures to be transparent about their own privilege. But this week, in the name of exposing hypocrisy, a line was crossed. Labour peer Shami Chakrabarti has been ridiculed in the right-wing press, accused of being another do-as-I-say-not-as-I-do public figure. Why? For sending her 13-year-old son to £18,000-a-year Dulwich College. Where she and her ex-husband educate their child is nobody's business. I'm pretty suspicious of people who call other parents hypocrites when it comes to school choices. I live in an area where the state primary school I went to is now surrounded by a 100 metre catchment area of two million pound houses. I can't afford to send my daughter there. The nearby private school is a cheaper option. Does that make me a hypocrite for aspiring to a world where there are enough high quality state schools for all children to go to? I don't think that it does. Well, I think that is a complete cop-out, if you want my honest opinion. I have had enough of the people I've known in my life, good people who took liberal positions and the rest of it, till it came to their own children and they decided yeah. to send them off to all private All parents school. are hypocrites. Yeah, oh, not, not all parents, well, because a lot, I, I, we, my wife and I decided all our kids went to the local comprehensive school. Why? Because that's what we believed yeah, but in. My point is, why do you draw the line there? I'm not saying... I don't go into for Shami Shakribata. She is not a political... She, she, she is not, a, she is not never, in politics. She's I, spoken about I do go for Di Abbott. Because yeah. Di Abbott was a politician. She put herself forward and then she said, I'm sorry, the Hackney schools aren't good enough for my I child. I mean, she, well, she herself for everybody that else's that was, children. She herself admitted that was problematic because she's a constituency MP, well, let, so she should sure. be held accountable. Just to underscore Greg's point, let's just quickly look at this fearsome foursome of uh, Labour labor heavy hitters. Uh, Seamus Milne, who is, of course, uh, Mr Corbyn's right hand man, or should that be left hand man? Diane Abbott, who you've already mentioned, Greg. Stephen Kinnock. Yes, son of the daughter went to a fee-paying sixth form. And Harriet Harman, who I think was actually once acting leader of the party, son went to a grammar school in Kent. And just to underscore your point, uh, Greg, as for Diane Abbott, that was at, at that time a £10,000 a year City of London school, very much on a par with Dulwich uh, College with Shami. And I think I totally agree. If Shami Chakrabarti was shadow uh, education secretary, if she was actually in, uh, well, in any might, position... She might well, soon be shadow as No, I, I, I think that's unfair. But people who do one thing... Sorry, who say one thing and do another, I'm with Greg. That's yeah. The point is, why do you draw the line in terms of when people send their children to private school? Because a lot of the people who are very proud of sending their children to state school and who often accuse me of being a hypocrite for sending my child to a private school. When you look at where they live, they live in houses which allow them to have the best of both worlds. They send their children to essentially elite state that's, schools. That's so, where I they mean, don't I have never bought into. And why I, is that less? I never bought into Tony Blair sending his kid halfway across London so they could go to the oratory, you know, which was which was up. A private school by any other means, um. really. It was a, certainly a selective school. I didn't accept that. that if, you're going to, if you want to be the Labour Prime Minister, I'm sorry, you've got to live by these principles. And if you're a politician, you've got to live by those principles. And if it means your kid goes to, doesn't go to, goes to a not a very good school, that's bad luck because there's lots of other people's kids who've got to go to those schools. Point is, and if you're going to sit there and say, ah, oh, well, my kid's, kid's special, or I can't do that, I don't accept that. But it's not saying that. It's that saying is being the, the a whole education system is riddled with hypocrisy. I mean, you mentioned Tony Blair's kids going to the oratory. The oratory got in trouble last year because it required parents to be married and to attend two yeah. church-related extra events every week, which basically, well, if, you're a week. if you're a single mother, if you're a single yes. mother or, but, but, or but, you but, work full-time, you're not going to be able to get your child. we knew that about the but other three. We knew it was a discriminate. Prior, uh, state schools, comprehensive schools in wealthy catchment areas discriminate. Private schools discriminate. Grammar schools, if they come in, will be discriminating. The point is there are all these different way ways of selection. Now, I personally would like a world in which we don't have selective schools and where there are high-quality state schools that all children can go to. It's supply and demand. If high-quality state schools existed, people would send their children But if you them. send your, your kid to... If you send your kid to the local school, if you send your kid to... The you would be in there, you'd be arguing for it to get I can't get into my better. local school no, you, there are right, the places. next one, whichever one. Yeah, it's, but, it's, it's, but you'd it's be in five there, miles you'd be away part of the, in Russia. Sure, you'd be part of the parent, the whole parent teachers association, you'd actually get in there, you would put pressure and it improves. If the middle class opt out, then these, ha these schools don't improve. It's a vicious circle, isn't it? I mean, I apply yeah, but I just, but, but I'll daughter, accept, and I I'll accept get into any that you are not a politician. Area. You're entitled, therefore, to do what you want. I don't think that if you're a Labour politician. If you're a Labour politician, I mean, you know, Neil Kinnock sent his kids to comprehensive schools in Ealing because that's where he lived. And perfect thing. It depresses me to see that his son is sending a daughter to Atlantic College. It's interesting, isn't it, that education is the topic that's even splitting the Tory party, you, who yeah. you would think would be in favour of choice because a huge row there breaking out over grammar schools. Mm -hmm. And it does strike me that there are very few parents who do 
both walk the walk as well as talk the talk. And when it comes to their own kids, they want the best for their kids. Well, but if they are Labour politicians and they're talking about education and that is their brief or they have a party line on it, I think it is ridiculous. And uh, Diane Abbott's line saying it was indefensible was in fact unanswerable and rather brilliant. She said, I'm a parent. I had to choose between being a politician and being a parent. And I chose being a parent. And I think, actually, we could identify with that. Well, Tony Blair came up with that great line, didn't he? Uh, don't, I won't bring politics into being a parent. By the well, way, I'm sorry. I'll yeah. bring it in for everybody else, but, but no, not for me. By the way, one of my only that, scoops as a journalist was I found out that Tony Blair was sending his children to a state school, but he was tutoring them privately Which on the lot side of, a lot of with, middle class with parents teachers do. from Westminster. A lot of middle Westminster class, that's another hypocrisy I forgot to mention. Yeah. A lot of middle class parents who do send their kids to states will pay a huge amount in yeah. private yeah. tutoring. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, the point is, well, everyone's gaming the system. They, they, they can choose. spend their money however we want. Oh, my, so point is, my point <laughs> is that I think if we just single out private school education but, as the source of hypo hypocrisy and the idea that if you send your child to a state school, you're not a hypocrite, you're doing everything, you know, you're walking the walk as well as talking to her. I just don't think it's the right way of... No, but right. Theresa May said that when she introduced grammar school. She said it's already selection by house price. You are right yes, on that level. And everyone is, is gaming look, the system if they London, can. It is in bits of it's not in whole chunks of the So that's true. Shouldn't they just be true. focusing on creating? They've, they've gone into politician um, politics to create change. Shouldn't they just be focusing on creating, to your point, a fantastic exactly. uh, state school system? But full on that stop. point, how, Greg's point, which is, I think, a point well made, uh, the school that's five miles away, which I understand, that's, that's in, in, I'm assuming you live in London, that is a, a yeah. quite a commute in the middle. How will that school ever get good if parents like you are not attracted to it? I agree. That's the problem, isn't I it? Because they need to, people like you, powerful, I committed agree. folk. I so agree. it will never ever get good. I agree. I agree that is a problem. It's also why under the free school system, you've got in areas where there are lots of middle class parents, these great free schools with really involved middle class parents, and in areas where you don't have that kind of residency, you know, they're, they're not springing up at all. And there are huge gaps. But if you look at what's happening in London, over a decade, there's been a massive improvement in of schools, course, yeah. and there's massive for all sorts Thanks of reasons. Thanks to immigration. For a lot of it, a lot of it to do with immigration. A lot of it to do with aspiring yeah. uh, immigrant parents. But I mean, there's been a massive change over a period of time, and that can happen. You can improve education, yeah, but, but you're not going to do it if the if if. Certainly, the middle class is all opt out, no, and you're not going to do it. So we can and, blame and, that for you. But, but, but the hypocrisy <laughs> is the hypocrisy <laughs> is people who stand for the Labour Party, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then don't do it for themselves. Everybody I'm acknowledges sorry. that the current system is not working properly. There are a huge, there's a huge well, they shortage don't, of do places. They? Actually, they, they don't. do. There's a huge shortage of school places. Not enough has been invested in schools. Schools may have been protected from cuts under austerity, but no new money's gone into them and they're under more demand than ever. So the school system is not working at the moment. And the only reason people opt out of it is because they don't well, have it as a viable option. Not I, because I, they're I, ideologically opposed. I don't opposed. necessarily not necessarily I don't, the wrong word. But I it's not, it's you not, mean it's not the practical. best option. You know, no, they not want even. the best for their children. There are schools available for all children. Well, I wanted the my problem kids. is parents want the best for their child. Well, we wanted our kids to go to the local school because we like them living in a community, mm. in truth. Mm, and well, actually, good. sending my kids yeah. halfway across London to go to some private school didn't appeal at all. I wanted them to live in the local community yeah. to know yeah. what, what it's like, what, it, what people yeah, are like. Is, I also exactly didn't want them to only like know, and I, we'd, I'd make quite a bit of money, I didn't want them only to know rich kids. And I think it's really important. The trouble is, you send your kids to some private school and they know one sort of people There are so many advantages to going to a local primary yeah. school where you can be part of the local community, and where your children aren't growing up in, in economic isolation. Yeah, but, but it's, not, it's just not possible. But what happens when you get from primary places. to secondary is there's a very large number who then opt out, of middle-class parents who then opt out and send them to pay to go to secondary school. I, I had a good solution. I think if you should pay for your kids to go to secondary school, you should pay for them to go to university in large amounts, same sort of amounts. And School but vouchers, if, but two if words. You... Pupils, pupils, <laughs> enough now in this class. I'm after the break, and I'm saying it's about time we put a stop to attacks on the bravest of the brave.